Hello, welcome to this video where we do uh, a third example of calculating surface area where things aren't going to match up like they did in the last two examples. We have y equals root x. We're only concerned about x is between 4 and 9 though. There's the graph. And we want to rotate this about the x-axis, creating a three-dimensional shape and our job, calculate the surface area of that shape. Your axis of rotation is the x-axis, so your radius is y. But you're given the integral, I mean, you're given the function in terms of x and an x interval, so your integration variable is dx. You can't have a y integral in a dx. You can't have a y variable in the dx integral. They're disagreeing with each other. So when you want to put y inside, instead, you put f of x. You put your function inside. In this case, y is equal, or f of x is equal to the square root of x. A square root of x is going to go inside of there as the radius. Now they match. We'll take the derivative. We'll square. We'll add one. We'll take a square root. But we got to remember that f of x is root x. Okay. Take the derivative of root x, and you get 1 over 2 root x. Square that, and you get 1 over 4x. Add 1, and you get 1 plus 1 over 4x. Slap a root around it. But don't add 1, though. Don't add it as 1. When your derivative squared is a fraction, then you add 1 by adding the denominator over itself. So add 4x over 4x. Then combine the numerators, put it into one fraction. Now you have a common denominator, and you can take the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom. The square root of 4x is 2 times the square root of x. So all of this is going to be your replacement to the radical. You have your f of x, who's your f of x? Your root x, who's your f of x? And you have uh, the dx that's there. But watch what happens. Magic happens. The denominator of your radical, 1 plus y prime squared, cancels with your f of x. Ooh, that's just great. That's wonderful. And then you could also um, cancel the twos. Uh, this next click, I think, is redundant. Let me, uh, in this next click, do the uh, cancellation at least. Um, so we have uh, the root x is canceling and the 2 is canceling. Leaving us with just the root of 4x plus 1 and a pi on the outside. Uh, 4 to 9 are the x's. Um, you know, took a quick little u sub. Um, I won't go through the details, but here it is for you. It's uh, pi over 6 times that 4x plus 1 to the 3 halves. But when you put a 9 in there, though, it doesn't really work out to be a nice perfect square. You get a 37. When you put a 4 in there, you get a 17. But that's fine. Just leave it like that. 37 to the 3 halves. 17 to the 3 halves. And that's it. With the pi over 6 on the outside, we just calculate the area of the, the, the surface area that, that's formed when revolving that piece of the root curve around the x-axis. Okay? So be on the lookout for when the radius doesn't match the integration variable. It's in those cases where you have to replace the radius in the formula that's in, you know, in the integral, replace it with the, with the actual function. Okay, great. Thank you for watching. My name is Nakai Rimmer. I'm here to help. Um, ask me any questions if you like. Comment down below. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.